Within this lesson, we'll decompose unit fractions using area models to show equivalence. Here we're asked to draw an area model to show that 1 fourth is equal to 2 eighths. First, we'll look at 1 fourth. And looking at 1 fourth, we can draw an area model where we are dividing this into four equal parts. Next, since this is 1 fourth, we'll shade in one of those parts. And we will label it. Now, to show that it is equivalent to 2 eighths, what we're going to do with our area model is to divide our area model into half, because we're going from 4 to 8. So if you look here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And as you see, we know then that 1 fourth does equal 2 eighths. In fact, 1 fourth does equal 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. Or we can also write that as a multiplication sentence. 1 fourth does equal 2 times 1 eighth. Do notice that 2 of those eighths were shaded, and two of those eighths does equal one fourth. Here we're asked to draw an area model to show that one fifth equals three fifteenths. We'll start by drawing an area model for one fifth. Remember, that the whole thing represents 1, so that we're dividing it into how many parts? Right, 5 parts. And then we're looking at how many of those parts? Just 1. Now in our last example, remind, remember we divided it into half, because we are going from 4 to 8. In this case, we're trying to go from 5, or fifths, to fifteenths. So if we just drew one line here and divided it in half, we'd actually only go into two tenths. In this case, then, to go from 5 to 15, we have to separate it into three parts. So we'll draw two horizontal lines there. And if we count them up, then, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 And then so that when we label the rest of our area model here, originally we had 1 fifth. And 1 fifth does equal 1, 2, 3, 3 15 Let's write out some equivalent statements here. We have 1 fifth does equal 3 15 Notice we went from 1 to 3 and 5 to 15. Now we also could have expressed this as the sum of unit fractions. 1 15th, another 1 15th, and another 1 15th, equaling 1 5th. So that 3 of those 15ths does equal 1 5th. Okay, it's your turn. Draw an area model to show that 1 half equals 3 6. Pause the video while you do your work. We'll start with 1 half. So there's 1 half there. Hopefully you labeled your model. How did we get to 6? How many parts do we need to divide this into? Well, we want to get to 6, and we're already at halves. So we draw two horizontal lines to get to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and how many six is one half equal to? One, two, and three. So after you drew your area model, did you write one half equal three six? And did you write that as a sum of unit fractions as well? One half equals one six plus one six plus one six. And that's how many six again? Right, three. So we also could have written it as three times one six. Let's look at another problem. We are decomposing one third as five fifteenths represented in an area model. And then also we're representing it as the sum and product of unit fractions. So let's start with one third within an area model. The whole thing represents one. And then we'll draw a vertical line, in fact two vertical lines, to separate it into three parts. And we'll shade that in to represent one third. Next, we're going to fifteenths. And to go to fifteenths, we have to think how many horizontal lines that we draw within our figure. If we drew one horizontal line in our figure, we would be looking at six. Now we're going from one third to five fifteenths. And then so we're really going from three to fifteen and one to five. In other words, we have to go five parts. So we draw four horizontal lines to divide each of those into five parts. And as you see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteenths into our figure. Now one third does equal, as you see here, one, two, three, four, five fifteenths. And we can express this as the sum of unit fractions. We have one third equaling one fifteenth plus one fifteenth plus one fifteenth plus one fifteenth plus one more fifteenth. And written much more easily as five times one fifteenth. One, two, three, four, five fifteenths. Okay, your turn again. Model one fourth as four sixteenth, representing the decomposition as the sum and product of unit fractions. We'll start with one fourth. Pause the video while you do your work. The whole figure represents one. So we draw vertical lines to divide that into four parts. And we are looking at one of those parts for one fourth. Now we're going to four sixteenths. How many horizontal lines did you draw? Did you draw three? In drawing three horizontal lines, we've now separated this into 16 parts. 4, 8, 12, 16 So that we're looking at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 16 So the equivalent statement that we can write is 1 fourth does equal 4 16 And we can express that as the sum of unit fractions. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 of those 16 which does make sense, 1 16th, 2 16ths, 3 16ths, 4 16ths, just as that is written there. Did you also write it as a product of unit fractions? Did you write 1 4th equals 4 times 1 16ths? So, to just go over this one last time, when we are looking at modeling 1 4th, we did draw that area model to divide it into four parts by drawing those vertical lines. And then 
it depended on what we were looking at. So for instance, if we were only going from 1 fourth to 2 eighths, we would have only drawn one horizontal line. To go from 1 fourth to 3 twelfths, we would have drawn two horizontal lines. In this case, we drew three horizontal lines so that we could divide this into sixteenths, going from four to sixteen. And we also wrote those as not only the sum and product of unit fractions.